Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Tehre Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the games that I was playing against a much stronger rated opponent. Uh, the opponent was 2100 plus and this was a blitz game, 5 minutes with zero increment and my opponent uh, here was playing as black, I was playing here as white. I started off with d4, responds with knight f6. Here comes bishop f4, trying to play the London system kind of setup. Open play c5. I continue with my development, playing c3, not bothering to take the pawn, because otherwise then I have to defend the pawn as well after taking. I don't want to get into that mess. Open play e 6 I go with knight to f3, further defending the pawn and developing a piece. Open goes d5. Now I play e3. Open plays knight to c6. I develop the bishop now on to b5, pinning the knight. Opponent takes the pawn. I take with the knight so that now I am pressurizing the knight twice. My opponent plays queen to b6. And I take on the knight here. Uh, opponent takes back with the pawn. I have to now develop the queen. Comes to a4. Uh, now I am again targeting an extra pawn here. Opponent defends that with the bishop d7. I have to move the queen because if I don't right now, open can play pawn forward, which is a discover attack on my queen and the pawn can take the knight as well. So had to move the queen. Queen comes to b3, offering queen exchange. Open denies and just plays pawn forward c5. I can move the knight or I can take the queen. I thought let me just exchange the queens first. Open takes back with the pawn. I go with knight to f3 backwards. Open plays b5, and now if you see these pawns are vicious. I need to solve this problem, otherwise, I'll end up losing this game pretty quickly. Uh, these pawns are very advanced already. My my development isn't complete, knight hasn't moved, castling isn't done. Opponent is better off here. Uh, the a file is also opened up. A knight is developed, bishop is developed, uh, the dark square bishop is also ready to come up. So a lot of issues to be uh, sorting up. I ca started with castling. Uh, open goes with bishop e7, preparing to castle. I go with knight to d2. Open plays pawn forward b4, asking me to take and then maybe take back. And the pawn will be still defended with the pawn, uh, the bishop. So I thought, let me go with knight e5 uh, and maybe delay castling. Uh, if open takes, I can take back with uh, the bishop as well. Open does castle. Uh, but I can't take here, my knight goes away, uh, it's a tricky situation to be in. Uh, of course, I don't want my opponent to have a bishop pair, but I also like to keep my knight pair. So, thought for a moment and then decided with bishop g5, my idea is now to take the knight first. After opponent takes, I can then take the bishop for free. So, opponent sees that coming, plays bishop to b5. And now to prevent this, uh, I a, I can just save my rook here uh, or I can play c4. c4 is an interesting idea because if the open takes uh, with the pawn, again, my open's pawn structure which was so vicious, these two, pa uh, this pass pawn can be, con can be uh, controlled in a better way. So open takes and I take back now with the knight. Both my knights are connected which is advantageous as well as disadvantageous in some cases because if you have to move one of these knights the other goes away uh, also this one is pinned up um, thanks to the rook behind it so have to be careful here open goes with h6 trying to keep the bishop backwards uh, so that after bishop h4 open can play g5 and then i have to put my bishop back to g3 which allows my open to free up the knight which was earlier pinned because the bishop was hanging there here comes a knight to e4, attacking the bishop and solving the pin issue. Uh, here I play b3 so that at least my knight is defended apart from the, uh, the, uh, the only knight which was defending it. Now if pawn forward comes up which is f6, I can move my knight. So opponent takes on the bishop first, I take back with the, the f pawn, open plays king g7. Now that was kind of strange to me and I didn't see that coming as well. Uh, I thought, okay, let me take control of the open file with the rook, which is always a good idea. But there's a problem with that, which is a bishop to f6. And suddenly I'm seeing, oh, oh, my knight has pinned towards the other rook as well. 
so i have solved one pin issue but now i cannot move my knight as soon as i move my knight my rook falls apart so i'm i'll be going exchange down which is uh, quite troublesome given the time factorial as well it's a blitz game i'm playing a stronger rated opponent is it a good idea to go exchange down but can i do something about it so i thought okay let me play uh, a4 trying to challenge the bishop here at least uh, opponent takes on the knight which was good enough and now i can take with the knight uh, or i can just take the bishop and then open can take my knight for free again i thought uh, if opponent takes the knight for free, uh, opponent gets plus three. But if opponent takes my rook and I take back the rook, at least I'll have some compensation and I can live to fight another day with my knight on the board. That's what I did here. Take on the bishop with the knight so that opponent does take the rook, I take back. Now it's against uh, opponent is plus two, but at least I have a knight to uh, be within. And with knights, one good thing is folks are not much far away. No matter how easy it is to calculate the knight's next move, uh, everybody knows that it has limited options to go, but still people end up missing some folks eventually. Uh, so that was my whole plan. Let, let me hang in with the knight, which can be tricky, uh, and then play it on from there. Open plays uh, rook in the open file d8 and now of course i cannot get my rook on the d file my pawn on e3 is defended with my knight so i either have to defend this pawn or i can start moving my king upwards because it is going to be an end game where my king must be involved because open has got both the rooks and i have a rook for a knight so need to move my king into the action uh, but at first i thought let me get my rook onto f1 uh, the idea is to, uh, these files are already blocked, so now what I can do is probably give a check from uh, e5 and then hit the f7 pawn, open place pawn forward, f6, seeing that coming. Now comes king to f2, because I know if open comes down here on to d3, I can simply defend with rook to b1. That's what happens, I go with rook b1, everything is defended as of now. Again, another challenge with my opponent here is, yes, rook can come to d8, but thanks to this wonderful knight, open cannot give me a check. If open gives the check, I can take, and we are back to equal in the game, and from there, anything can happen, thanks to especially the a pawn, which is already a pass pawn now. So here, I started pushing the pawn, uh, also creating pressure on the opponent. Suddenly open sees, oh, this a pawn is coming out, so I have to defend it. Here comes rook to a8, but my pawn is defended uh, with my knight, so I don't need to move my rook here and open cannot take the extra pawn. Here comes king to e2, trying to kick the open rook away from here. Open goes back on to d7, which allows me to have a fork, which I was just talking about previously. That with knights, folks are not much far apart. And all I had to do was wait there till the right moment. And the moment came. Now, both the rooks are being attacked. One of them has to be saved. So, rook uh, b comes to a7. I take on the rook on a8. Open takes back with the rook. And now again, I have to be careful. I have to stop the pawn from being taken. So, here comes rook a1. And now all I have to do is move my king slowly, grab these pawns, and then maybe push the other pawn as well. Meanwhile, my double pawns, which are kind of bad, can still handle the pawn structure here on the king side. Uh, open starts moving the king to f7, and I start with my plan, king d3. Here comes king e7, now king to c4. Open is in time to save the pawn, but here now I move my king to b5. Uh, asking opponent to either move the rook or I'm starting to push this pawn forward ahead. Open plays rook to b8, allows me to come back and now comes king to c6, which allows me to push the pawn forward, a6. Uh, and then open has to go back in time, otherwise I can promote it to queen and now comes a7. You might be thinking it's, it's a bad move because next move open can go to c7 or maybe even to b6 and then exchange but that is completely in my favor because if that exchange happens what i can do is i'm the first one to take this pawn 
and then the other and then move towards the other side of the board and grab the other pawns as well if rook exchange happens so my king is closer to the opponent's pawn and in the end game that would be really helpful let's just analyze the board as well once i am missed doing it in the opening so we see white is ahead here 3.7 and i can win it from here if even if king comes here there is no problem i can simply push for pawns and then eventually there will be a time when opponent will have to play and lose into the situation because say some trades happen opponent cannot push this i can block everything and then rook has to be moved once the rook moves i can simply promote uh and again i have to be careful if i promote with the queen this can be problematic if i'm not wrong yes it is problematic because rook to d4 is a checkmate so i have to under promote here to knight is what the computer is suggesting and then it's a check opponent can exchange here and lose the game or opponent can just hang in there and still lose the game because 3.3 so this becomes tricky and if ever opponent decides to take uh, after of course pushing the king towards there and suppose opponent wants to exchange here instead this is also winning for white because i can take the pawn now and i am material up uh, in terms of pawn i am closer to the opponent's pawn that's what i was trying to explain earlier so i will have all the advantage that is possible from there on so uh, it is a tricky move so that's why i played uh, pawn to a7 open and then goes for pawn forward f5 i i played h3 myself asking open to move forward open plays uh, h5 there i went with rook to a5 a uh, challenge this pawn so i can at least start taking some pawns here opponent moves with king to b6 allowing me to take opponent takes back with the rook the other pawn which was a passed pawn and now i thought okay let me give another check and grab the other pawn as well just trying to wrap up the pawns on the side of the board which could have been troublesome opponent had majority of pawns here two against one so i had to settle this issue first and then opponent goes back i go towards the opponent side and then we grab each of the pawns and then eventually it's like one pawn each and here opponent plays pawn uh, king up to c5 and i thought okay let's go for a draw opponent takes the rook and goes towards my pawn we both trade off so eventually it was a draw uh, i will definitely take it as a draw against 2100 but here uh, after analyzing this game i understood that i could have won this game uh, with with probably more uh, time on the clock The reasons was uh, instead of placing my rook on to a5 which i did in the game the best move was to place rook on to a6 that pushes my opponent backwards allows me to take the base pawn of the pawn chain and now if opponent takes with whatever piece doesn't matter because a i can now either exchange the rooks if it's taken with the rook and if rook exchange happens of course i am closer to the pawns as explained earlier so opponent will have to take with the king which allows me to play rook to e5 and now opponent cannot defend everything even if tries to defend the pawn with the rook i can simply take one and two and then this is a pass pawn if opponent tries to play the bash move as per the computer which is g4 i can either still take uh, the other pawns with the wish, uh, with my rook and i'm i'm completely okay here taking any pawn i think would be fine because yes opponent can take but then i i can any time day back and then there's nothing much open can do can try to put the rook here but doesn't help because i can i'm the first one to take the pawns and i'll have a pawn majority for sure at the end which is decent enough open can take another i will have one extra pawn always which goes there at least now it becomes two so it's a quite easy winning end game with uh, passed pawns on both sides of the board and will be troublesome because yes they can only control one the king cannot go for both the pawns and all i have to do from here on is maybe exchange a rook or just put my rook behind a pawn and just keep pushing it so that was a completely winning end game uh, had i spotted the move rook to a5 a6 that is the whole difference between a rook left to a5 and a6 a draw versus a, 
a win eventually which could have been an easy uh, coming from there but my idea was also not that bad i would say because i wanted to negotiate the threat of c6 c5 pawn uh, this is a pass pawn my king was stuck here and there's all the chance of rook coming down as well uh, and i don't want to get into troubles so rather uh, negotiate the trouble straight away yes rook a6 was the best move and i couldn't spot it but if rook a5 wasn't that bad as well because at least i ended up with a draw and not a loss from here i hope you enjoyed the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always thanks for your time take care bye bye